I'm going to show you different ways to cut a butternut squash for your recipes, but it all starts with one simple thing. Make a cut crosswise down using the rocking motion where the tapering stops. This tapered end has no seed, so it's going to be really easy to cut into your desired shape. This wider bottom part, however, does have seeds, so we want to remove them. Just cut it in half straight down. Now just use a spoon to scoop out the seeds. For these ones that are hollow in the center, I like to place them cut side down and cut them into these nice semi-circle little rainbow shapes. Or you can cut them into wider pieces, then cut them into cubes. Now for the solid tapered end, you have a lot of options here. You can cut them into really thin rounds. Or to make quick dices, slice them down. Now stack a few slices on top of each other, cut straight down to give cubes. 